before we get into this video here on how we came up with this badass mini bike, make sure you check out the first video of the original build where I started off with a old Toro snowblower and a mini bike frame and we crafted this all together. So definitely check that out before watching this, but well, please enjoy. Well, now that we know that my creation works, this thing actually rides, uh, somehow everything worked together pretty well. So we're gonna get this thing all stripped down, we're gonna get the frame powder coated, trick it out a little bit more, change the gearing, and we're gonna make this thing better riding and uh, a lot cooler looking. So let's get this thing all stripped down. So just like that, this is what we got left, just the frame here. So we're gonna have to get this thing all cleaned up and then get it sent off, get powder coated, and then uh, start reassembling all this. So as you can see, we just got our frame back from powder coat and for the frame and the rim, we want this dark metallic gray powder coat and this came out really good. So we just gotta start reassembling this thing, put all the bearings in, grease everything up. We're gonna make it a rolling chassis right now. Uh, we're still getting some engine work done. I got that whole thing split into about a thousand pieces. So once the engine work gets done, we can pop that in and finish this thing up. So here's a quick trick uh, on these little tires. Honestly, any four-wheeler style tubeless tire, um, setting the bead can be kind of difficult on these. Uh, what I've learned is if you just use a large ratchet strap like this, it tends to make it go pretty quickly. So I just prefer this method, especially when working with freshly painted wheels. So I get that nice and tight and then it'll seal up. Then you hit it with a little air, you can back the strap off. And uh, just like that, pretty simple. That's all there is to it. Thing to address on the build is this seat. Now this has the standard Megamoto black seat and I thought this was pretty boring and I wanted to do something a little bit cooler than that. Thrill Seekers. They got us a brand new seat cover custom made. It's going to tie all the colors of the build together. They're one of the very very few companies to make seats for these Megamotos or Motovox. I'm sure they're probably the same thing. And this is what they made for me here. I'm going to just remove this old black leather cover and we're gonna staple the new gripper cover on. So as you can see here, I'm working on getting this engine cover all ready for some paint. Over on the pole start assembly, I think this looks kind of goofy and it had uh, some screw holes here. It used to have a bracket that aligned it for the snowblower. And I think I'm gonna fill in these holes here. And then for the centerpiece, it's a little ugly. So I just cut out this little piece of steel. I'm just gonna weld that in and uh, grind everything smooth so it gives it a nice clean appearance.
as you can see, I got this thing all done up, painted. It looks pretty good. Uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. I thought this pull start handle was kind of boring and it didn't really fit the build and it's kind of bulky and ugly. Uh, I went online and I found this company, Cobra Cord, and they have this shorty handle, they call this one. And it's almost a perfect fit. It's pretty light, it's aluminum. These come in all different colors. Uh, the red is gonna match mine the best, so I got this thing. And it was right around $20. I mean, super cheap. This looks really trick. And for the cost, you just can't beat it. So check out Cobra Cord. So the next thing that needs to be addressed here on this engine, uh, like I said, the gearing. I wanted to change the gearing. Now, in order to achieve the gearing that I want, I'm gonna need to change the front sprocket out. It's a one inch shaft, so I'm really limited to what sprockets I can use on the clutch. I had uh, a 14 tooth on there before, and I believe the lowest you can go is 13, but ideally I wanna use a 10 tooth sprocket here on the clutch side. So I need a three quarter inch shaft on the engine so I can use a regular three quarter inch clutch, which then I can use a 10 tooth sprocket. So in order to achieve that, I need to get this crankshaft here milled down to three quarters of an inch. Take this to a machine shop and have them put this on a lathe and, and cut it down and then mill a new keyway in. To do that, we're gonna need to get this thing stripped down had my local machine shop take this crank and mill it down here to three quarter. It was not easy for them to do. This crank is super hard and honestly this costs a lot of money to do. So this is not really the most economically smart choice. I mean it cost me more to get this crankshaft machine than buying a Harbor Freight six and a half horse engine new in the box. So I'm not going to say this is a, a great option but I wanted to make it right and I wanted to make this thing work. So that's what we did. We got this thing milled down. It's a three quarter shaft now. And basically all we gotta do is put this whole engine back together. Off the engine here we have our positive wire to our coil and then we're gonna need to put a new frame ground on here I think I'm gonna put it on the engine for our connector I didn't really like the old connectors so I got these waterproof connectors like a standard automotive style and so we're gonna try and get this thing wired up and hopefully this will be a lot better connector <music> Clutch 
clutch on here and this is a 10 tooth sprocket and it uses that number 35 chain actually the original one that this bike came with uh i ended up going back to it just because it gives me a lot more gearing choices and i didn't particularly want to drill out every single different sprocket i put on this thing to try and make the gearing work so we're going back to the smaller number 35 chain setup so i gotta get this wheel off get this sprocket off put the original one back on throw a new chain on it and according to how I calculated it this thing should have a lot better acceleration uh, it probably won't go very fast uh, this bike was never really meant to be a speed racer but I just wanted to accelerate fast and be a fun uh, off-roader so let's try it out As you guys know we just rebuilt this engine uh, top to bottom and I got this thing all back together the chain is on I was just giving it a few pulls to get some gas going through the carburetor because obviously I had it all drained and it actually wanted to fire so let's see if we can get this thing to fire right back up uh, I'm hoping it's gonna be like first pull so we'll see Thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This thing is a ton of fun to rip around on and I had a lot of fun building it. Uh, but it doesn't stop here. I got a few more ideas in my head and more builds I want to do mini bike related, dirt bike related. Uh, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up on all the new videos coming out in the near future. And thanks again.